The following technical support video will show you how to use the Multi-RIP GP software for printing on direct to garment machines. The picture that I have up is a picture of a spiked baseball from Great Dane Graphics. And I'm going to want to print this onto a white colored shirt. This video will show you how to use the color layer option in Multi-RIP GP. For this example, we'll be using Multi-RIP GP 1800 which is used for an Epson R1800 printer and this one is specific to the Anajet printer. What I'll first start off with is look at my graphic and I want to go up in Photoshop to the mode underneath the image and go to mode and make sure that it's listed as an RGB graphic. RGB graphics tend to print better than CMYK graphics because RGB has a larger color gamut. But the next thing that I want to do is come down and check my image size. My image size needs to be obviously within the size of the platen. In this case our platen is 12 and a half by 16, so an 11 by 11 is perfectly fine. And the resolution needs to be somewhere around 150 to 200 dpi. Anything over 200 is really just too much ink for a t-shirt to hold the detail on. So it's really wasting ink. So once I have that set, and I'm now ready to print my graphic, I don't have to worry about making the background a transparent or anything else like that. What I'll do is I'll go up to the top corner, click on File, and we'll go down to Print. Click on the Proceed button, and notice what will show up is the MRGP Anajet with white ink. What I can do is go ahead and click on the Properties button, and then come down to the Advanced button. I'm now going to be in the RIP settings. The first setting that I need to change is my paper size. The paper size is really going to be your platen size, and you'll notice that there are defaults already in there. At 12 and a half by 16, which is our adult platen size, and the 8 and a half by 12, which is our youth. In this case, we're going to go with the adult. And then I can come down to print quality and determine what quality or resolution I'd like to have this print out at. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and keep it with the fine setting. Next thing what I'll do is I'll scroll down and you'll see the color appearance. You can choose photo normal or vivid darker. Vivid darker really probably works best only using vector artwork. In this case since we have a raster design if we use the vector or the vivid darker one it will actually tend to blotch things up not give you as good of a transition or, or gradient. So we're going to choose photo normal. In this case, our layer types are how we're going to tell what to print. We're going to choose the color layer. You all just notice that there are yellow warning triangles. If you choose one of these other ones, you'll see where the other yellow triangle comes up and your settings don't match. This is to help you make sure that you get the correct settings. For this current one, we're just going to use the color layer. Color layer means it's only going to drop CMYK ink down onto the shirt. You can choose the number of color passes that you would like to do one or two passes. For most of the time a single pass will work best for you as long as you're working with a quality graphic. If you are not sure, you, I recommend you testing first one pass and two passes to see the difference and also understand if you do two passes you will use more ink. When we're dealing with the color layer there are some white ink options that are still available in the main RIP option but not in the easy printer options and you can just go ahead and ignore them. Those are the white passes, the number of white passes that you want to do. You will also ignore white ink density, black ink and under base behavior, and the auto white threshold. So the only other things that we have to do is we'll go down and we'll choose our RGB source profile. Since this graphic is in an RGB mode, you have a couple different options. Because this graphic has some good reds in it, the best one that I have found to give me the best reds is NTSC 1953. Um, you can set it up to whatever you'd like, run some tests. I recommend running different color charts to see which prints the best for you. The media type is white cotton, but you can also choose between all of the other ones down here as well. So we're going to choose white cotton, and then you can choose between your print direction, which would be bi-directional or unidirectional. Most of the cases, bi-directional would be perfectly fine. From there, just go ahead and OK, OK, and OK. Once we send the file to the printer and the RIP, the RIP interface will open up. 
and it will begin the process of rasterizing the job. You notice when it first comes up you will see a screen on the status message tab which is the four tabs underneath it is the first tab and you'll see where it will talk about what profile it's using and the size and everything else with this. Going across the top you'll see where it will say rendering and it shows rendering the job. The resolution that we choose was fine was 1440 by 720 or what a lot of people refer to as 720 enhanced and it will begin the processing portion. On the incoming job you'll see where the file shows up and shows processing. Once it begins the process it will move to the, both the process jobs and the pages to printers tab. You notice in the pages the printer has already begun spooling which means it's already sending information to the printer before the entire file has been ripped. This will help increase your production time. Again, the, it will send the rest of the information. You'll notice on the left hand side you'll see the cost to print this job. The cost to print this job depends on your cost that you put into the RIP for your different inks that you're using. That will be discussed in another video. If you go to the Process Jobs tab and you double click on it, you will notice that a new screen pops up and if you click on number one, you'll see your graphic. It will talk about the size of your graphic, 12 and a half by 16, the location where it has been put into, and looking at the graphic will allow you to also reprocess this to job. I really recommend printing the graphic from a, the same file size that you are printing to. So in this case, put the graphic already laid out in a 12 and a half by 16 size, and that way it'll, you already have the positioning that you're looking for. If you go over to the Pages the Printers tab, you'll see where it talks about the, the file is here. It's one color. It's ready to go. You double click on it. You can see what it looks like here. If you had multiple files in this, you could change the print the print priority to increase it to give it a higher ranking than some of the other ones. And that's really it for how to use the color layer option in Multi-Rip GP. If you have more questions or if you want a detailed written out list of how this works, please visit multiripusers.com. Thank you.